In this video, I will go over some tips and tricks to climb solo shuffle as survival hunter. And we'll jump right into it. Right now I'm waiting for the mage to come out. So I'm staying on my side of the map. And something you want to look out for is because of the monk, you want to stay out of range. That way you don't get cleaved down by him. So I use a sacrifice on the warrior. That way he doesn't take too much damage. It also is really a lot of help for the healer, so make sure you're using Roar of Sacrifice. Here I set up the CC on the healer with an Intimidation into a Frost Trap, and the Mage already used Ice Block. So that tells me that we are 100% going that Mage because he doesn't have that, that wall anymore. I use Coordinated Assault to Gap Close and have a ton of pressure here. And I use scatter on the monk. Make sure to be CCing your off DPS. It, again, everything you want to do is to help the healers. They have a ton of trouble uh, in these solo shuffles. Will also get you out a win. Um, right there, I missed the frost trap, but I got a interrupt on the flash heal, so that was decent. And because I didn't use the Frost Trap, I scattered the Priest into a D-Yard Frost Trap. And here you see that Monk is spin kicking us. I should have been a little further out. That way we don't group up. And my focus is 100% on this mage so I'm just going as much as I can getting a frost trap on the healer this was pretty comfortable game right here not too hard just going on the mage and it was because of that opener because we got so much pressure off so here again we're going to go the mage i use a chimera sting right before that massive miz so it stops that cast and am going just 100 percent on the mage with the chakrams into uh those mongoose bites get a fr freezing trap he blocks so now again it's just a timer. See how fast we could kill that mage. If the enemy uses a wall before you do, that usually gives me like a ton of hope that we're gonna be winning the game. We're ahead on that cooldown, and that's probably the most important cooldown to have. So, looking good right now. Getting a frost trap. Um, I have scatter, so I should have been scattering the warrior. That way, he's not taking too much. I'm not taking too much damage, but the monk helps me with that ring right there. And he runs out of soul link, which is nice. And I think this is. They just get lost, and we win right there. So you could have seen that they were on me most of that game, and I still had my wall up, still had survival of the fittest. And here as a melee cleave, again, you do not want to be overlapping. You Survival Hunter is a melee spec, but we have a lot of range, so take full advantage of that. Serpent Sting, your bombs, Aspect of the Eagle, Kill Command. You could have a ton of pressure from way far away. See, I haven't been um, melee range at all, and I'm, I'm top DPS right now. And here, because the uh, monk goes in there, I use a slow tar trap. That way, he can't escape. Easy trap. That spin kick doesn't really connect. And we still have full pressure on that monk. Use Chakram, which increases damage. Uh, 
See, this guy, he was like worried about attacking me when like they weren't on me at all. They're across the map, so that was the healer's fault that <laughs> his monk died there. Again, right here, we are looking for the mage. He has a 15, mages and biz is 15 seconds, so. Usually you wait for that. I guess I got a little hurried here. Switching to that mage. I already Roar of Sacrifice the monk because they're using a lot of cooldowns on him. Scatter the warrior. He trinkets at scatter, which is funny. So here I have an intimidation. Let's see when I use it right there. And I see he has 10 stacks of the latent poison, so I just go on him a little bit. Makes him back up. Scatter. Frost trap with that grapple. And we get a block. So we just keep the pressure on that mage. Something that I see that I'm not doing is uh, slowing him. So the mage should be slowed. I don't know why I haven't done, been doing that. Again, we see we frost trap on cooldown. And just run down that mage. And here. Pretty sure I say mage's target. He just doesn't seem to be cutting all that well, so. And then I set up with an intimidation into a frost trap. And you do always want to overlap that intimidation. Um, let's say it's at one second, one and a half seconds into a frost trap. Because if you give that little gap, let's say the intimidation runs off and you leave even half a second a second between that and the frost trap the healer could get some heal off some defensive off which you obviously don't want you want a nice long cc chain that way you force a trinket or you just apply so much pressure that they're they fall behind oh here i can see okay so I don't have my trink I don't have my trinket. I don't have survival of the fittest. Turtles down. It's actually yeah. I think I lose this one. So I have intimidation up. I don't know why I'm not using that. And I die right here. Back at that game, you saw that I used Survival of the Fittest with Roar of Sacrifice at the same time. And that just pro like that just makes it easier for the DPS on the other team to hunt me down. Instead of prolonging like a long spell where it's harder, where I'm a lot more tankier, it just gives me that short little 12 seconds that after that it's up, it's basically a timer where I'm off. So I had to use the turtle early and it's just a game there. On this one, the I don't know why the monk was staying behind, so I went full damage on him with the explosive shot into a chakram. And the reason why you want to use explosive shot before chakram is because of that uh, cast delay. It takes three seconds for explosive shot to go off. So you could use a chakram, so you could use explosive shot and then chakram. And then you could use a bomb or a manga spider if you're close to give that huge burst. It's actually very surprising. A lot of healers, it catches them off guard. And here, they just give up at the end there. And for making it this far, I want to thank you guys by linking all my macros in my Discord. If you guys have any questions, 
please let me know. These macros are very helpful, for example, when you could grapple towards a healer, instantly rooting them and gives you a very easy freezing trap setup. Please subscribe if you found any of that helpful. And if you need help with your survival hunter PvP talent, gear, rotation, check out this video. Good luck in season one.